Hello and welcome to our project video. In our project, we aim to evaluate and compare two algorithms on a task of Super Mario Kart, the original Mario Kart game released in 1992. Two algorithms that we plan to compare are Deep Sarsa and Deep Q Learning. Deep Sarsa is an on policy algorithm, which means that it uses the predicted Q values of its own future actions to update the parameters. On the other hand, Deep Q Network is an off policy algorithm meaning that it estimates future Q based on some other policy. In this case, it uses the greedy policy. How do we compare the two algorithms? What metric would we use? It's known that the two algorithms differ mostly in the speed of convergence. Therefore, we will be comparing the two algorithms in how fast each of them learns. Additionally, we will compare the stability of the two algorithms. We'll talk more about the methodology later. After coming up with the idea of comparing on-policy and off-policy algorithms and thinking about exactly how we would test them, we did some literature review. First, we studied about Q-learning and SARSA, and then we investigated the differences between the deep versions and the normal versions. We also found previous works that we could take inspiration from. First, we found TensorCart, which was made in 2016 and uh, involved only deep learning methods. Then we found NeuroCart, which built on top of TensorCart. And we also found another repo called MarIQ, which was the best place to start for our project since it utilized deep Q learning. We first had to deal with the problem of getting the BizHawk emulator up and running with the appropriate socket connections and understanding the various components of the existing code base. More specifically, most of the code to connect with the game was written in Lua, a language which we have never seen before. We had also had to learn how to access the memory of the game. After we figured out how the code worked, our next step was implementing Deep Sarsa. We ran into a slight issue since Deep Sarsa cannot use Experience Replay, but we resolved the problem by using a variant of Sarsa that utilizes Monte Carlo sampling. Unfortunately, this means that our version of Deep Sarsa is not truly on policy, but an approximation of an on policy method. What is our methodology? To compare the learning speed of the two algorithms, we will need to design an experiment. First, we need to collect the data. We can do this by running n trials for both deep Sarsa and deep Q learning. Each trial is 20 minutes long, consisting of 20 episodes that are one minute long. At the end of each episode, we record two pieces of data, the average reward per second and number of checkpoints passed. Sadly, because of time constraints, we could only run 10 trials for each algorithm. Now that we have the data, we can perform statistical analysis on a data. We need to ask two questions. Does one algorithm really learn faster than the other? And is there any difference in the stability of the two algorithms? We first take the average over all the trials for our reward per second data, and for our number of checkpoints data, so that we have more stable measurements. Now we must ask, is there any difference between the speed of the two algorithms? To answer this question, we must use a hypothesis test. After running a hypothesis test to compare the reward per second data for deep SARSA with deep Q learning, we find that the p-value is 0.032, which is less than 0.05. Therefore, it seems like there may be a significant difference in the learning speed. Because we use a two-tailed test, we don't know which way the difference lies. However, because of the aggregate statistics, we posit that the significance is in the favor of SARSA. We also ran a hypothesis test to compare the checkpoints data, finding a p-value of 0.042, which is also significant. In this case, we again observed that it's more likely that SARSA is the faster algorithm. To compare the stability of the two algorithms, we need to first obtain the residuals of the least squares fit on a data. We can then conduct a hypothesis test on the residuals. It seems that the p-value for the residuals of the average reward per second data is 0.0879, which means that the difference is only marginally significant. Additionally, the p-value for the residuals of the checkpoints data is 0.2421, which means that the difference in stability is not significant. How do we analyze these results? It is known that SARSA is usually a bit slower than deep Q learning, but our results seem to suggest that SARSA is actually a bit faster. We believe that this may be because SARSA can more accurately estimate the actual value of the agent's actions, given that the agent would like to explore once in a while. A greedy estimation may be too optimistic. It is also usually the case that SARSA is more stable than deep Q learning, but we did not find significance in our data for difference in the stability. To verify that this is the case, 
we would have to run more trials to get a better estimate of the reward per second and a number of checkpoints achieved for each episode. In the future, we would run each algorithm more times to get a bigger sample size and reduce variance in the results. We would also attempt to implement other on-policy and off-policy algorithms to further investigate differences in their performance. Thank you for watching.